Hello everybody, it's Fu here, and today we're doing another video. We're going to be looking at what is the most passive healing a Pokemon can receive each turn. So what passive healing is, is things that heal your Pokemon by a small amount of HP at the end of each turn um, and do that consistently. So they're not a one-off healing move, for example, or a one-off healing item. They're things that happen over a period of time, but I want to see how much you can get each turn so you could potentially be healing tons each turn and we're going to look at how we can stack all of these healing effects to uh, yeah just to just to push the boundaries and see what we can do so there are really four categories that we can look at in terms of things that cause passive healing the first one is moves so moves that you can set up and that will heal you over time over multiple turns there are also items, so leftovers is the really obvious one that everyone uses and knows about and it's a very good item, but there potentially could be others too. We've then got some abilities that allow for passive healing and then there's kind of other things that you could potentially look into, like terrain for example is one there. And I think the best way to go through this is basically to show you what I think the best example of this is and we can see how much health a Pokemon can recover each turn. So first off, Smeagle is going to use Aqua Ring, which allows it to heal 1 16th of its health at the end of each turn. It's like a setup move and it lasts indefinitely every turn. It's gonna get that 1 16th HP recovery from Aqua Ring. We're then gonna use Ingrain, which basically has the same effect as Aqua Ring, but it also plants your roots so you can't be roared or whirlwinded out. Um, which is quite kind of interesting, but again, it's 1 16th HP recovery and stacks with Acaring, which is great for this experiment. We then have Grassy Terrain, which is in that other category that I talked about, and anything grounded will heal 1 16th of its HP at the end of the turn in Grassy Terrain, so again, that's pretty nice. Doesn't matter if it's your opponent or yourself, you're going to get that recovery. Now Smeargle is going to go for the Baton Pass, which is great because you can Baton Pass the effects of Aqua Ring and Infestation. And we're going to pass that to Shroomish specifically because of its ability. It gets that Poison Heal ability, which allows you to, if you're poisoned, you heal one eighth of your HP at the end of the turn, which is very powerful um, recovery. And why we wanted Aegislash to Toxic my Shroomish rather than holding the Toxic Orb is because Shroomish is then able to hold the leftovers. So here we can now see as Aegislash has taken it down to the lowest HP possible, 1 HP, we can see how much recovery we're getting. So first off we get Grassy Terrain which is 1 16th and then we get Leftovers which is 1 16th. We get Aqua Ring which is 1 16th again and then we get Ingrain which is 1 16th and then on top of that we get Poison Heal which is 1 8th. So that's a ton of after turn effects. All of that added up, you get 1 16th times 4 plus 1 8th, which turns out to be 6 16ths or 3 eighths of its HP, which is kind of just under half. If you have Protect, you can get 12 16ths of your health back, which is actually 6 eighths or 3 quarters. Um, so that's pretty neat, but it's also worth noting that each of these heals um, is rounded down. So if there's any rounding coming into this, you actually will get less healing than that. So it might not quite reach the three quarters mark after the protect. So that is the most I think you can get omitting one important source of passive recovery, which some of you might have spotted, and that is Leech Seed because Leech Seed is a draining move and draining moves function slightly differently. What Leech Seed does is it damages the opponent for one eighth of their HP and then heals your Pokemon the amount of damage caused. So that could potentially be more or less than one eighth of your own HP. In this example, we've got a Cottony, which has a much lower HP stat than Curum, which has a, a very high HP stat, which means that Curum is only getting one eighth of its HP in damage each turn, but Cottony is able to heal one quarter of its HP each turn, which is obviously a lot more than one eighth, it's double. Um, so that shows that if you have difference in HP stats, then it's gonna be different. And actually, if this was a level one Cottony and it was going up against a level 100 Curum, 
Each leech seed every turn could potentially heal it for 100% of its health. It could heal all of its health back just with leech seed, which is pretty impressive. And in terms of proportions, that is the most passive recovery that you can get each turn. It would be 100%. In reality, that's only about 13 HP for a level 1 cottony, which is very low. And that wasn't really the point of this video to find that you can recover 13 HP a turn with Leech Seed. Um, so actually, what I think is a more useful measure is the absolute amount of HP that you recover each turn, uh, rather than the proportion. So the actual number of hit points you can recover in one turn with all of this passive recovery. So what we need then is the Pokemon with the highest base HP. Enter Blissey. Basically, we're going to do the same experiment that we did with Shroomish, but we can use Leech Seed and we need to skill swap Poison Heal onto Blissey and then we'll look at the actual amount of HP that it recovers each time. So let's set that experiment up now. It's basically going to be the same, except that we first need to set up Leech Seed and we're going to do that against an opposing Blissey so that we're getting as much HP recovery back as possible from the opposing Blissey onto our own Blissey. It's going to be one eighth of the H of, of Blissey's HP in damage and one eighth recovered, which is the most we can get for the Pokemon with the highest hit points. And this is the way to recover the most hit points in the game with passive recovery. So anyway, once we set up the Leech Seed, we basically do the same setup as Shroomish. We set up with Smeargle the Aqua Ring, the Ingrain, the Grassy Terrain, and then we Baton Pass all of that to Blissey. Blissey then has to skill swap with Shroomish to get the Poison Heal, and it has to be toxic by one of the opponents while holding the leftovers, and then we can see how much HP is recovered. So once Aegislash is gone for the full swipe, let us see how much HP we can recover with our Blissey. First off, we get the Grassy Terrain recovery, then we get the leftovers, again we get the Aqua Ring, and we get the Ingrain recovery. We then get the Leech Seed from the opposing Blissey, which will be healing 1 8th of our health because it's exactly the same HP stat from the opposing Blissey. And then the Poison Heal. So if we add all of that up, it's 1 16th times 4 plus 1 8th plus 1 8th, which is actually about half. But you can see there, that is definitely under half of Blissey's health, and that's where the rounding comes into it. This actually rounded down so that we only got 355 hit points recovered in this turn, um, which is slightly lower than half of Blissey's HP, which would be 357. But still, that is the most passive recovery you can get in one turn. 355 HP per turn, which is kind of crazy because a lot of Pokemon don't even have that much HP in total. So, but you can only achieve this by using Blissey and with a ton of setup that is not realistic in any actual match. So this is kind of a, just theory moning at this stage, but I thought it was quite interesting to see that without going for a recovery move in that turn, Blissey could recover 355 HP while still attacking the opponent. It's pretty crazy and pretty interesting. So that's going to conclude the experiment for today. I hope you found that one interesting. The answer is either 100% of your health if you're doing proportions or 355 hit points if you're doing absolute numbers. Thank you so much for watching. All that's left to be said is I've been Fufu, you've been awesome, and hopefully see you next time. Goodbye.